Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. It's been a while since I posted an update with the ground cherry plant and I just wanted to show you what's going on. I've been away on a business trip for about a week or two and I just got back not too long ago and I wanted to record an update. When I got back this plant was actually suffering quite a bit. I noticed not only did it have spider mites all over it, let's come in close so I can show you what they look like. You see these tiny little spots? So we got little spider mites trying to take over. And being that I was away for about 10 days or so, I sprayed this thing down when I left, before I left actually. And when I came back, this thing looks like these things took over again. And this plant, let me just step back a tiny bit and really show you just how big this thing keeps on getting as you see up on the second level it's grown in also quite a bit and it's starting to take over the second level a lot so this plant has actually taken up a lot of the space way more than I originally intended it to so what I'm gonna be doing is coming in clipping this cutting this plant down and I'm gonna be actually picking off all the fruits and we're going to be starting over. We're going to be doing winter gardening indoors. We're going to be doing lettuces, herbs. We'll be probably doing strawberries, some carrots. So there'll be lots of updates coming soon. And you see some of these leaves are suffering. This is basically what you call a yellow leaf spot. And it happens to pl some plants every now and then. It doesn't seem to be affecting the production of the plant at all. However, after a short time, once these leaves keep turning, they begin to wilt and fall off and new ones will take their place. As you see, if I lift up any branch, you see new flowers and new ground cherries being formed at the tips of every branch here. So we're going to be cutting all those off. So let's just actually cut one off and I can show you what it looks like. And you want to have a nice pair of clean, sharp scissors. Make this nice and easy. Not like, not like this. So look at that. And this is what a branch looks like. So if, you, if I wanted, I could actually stick this right into the ground. And it will grow into its own new plant. So... I'm going to cut off all of these branches. I'm going to pick off these fruits. So simply just come in and pick them right off. And I'm just going to let them naturally ripen indoors. And I'm going to pick all the fruits off. And like I mentioned, we're going to be starting over. So this plant has taken up way too much space from what I want. I want to be able to enjoy nice fresh greens indoors and even though these things are still nice and green while they're indoors they're going to continue to ripen and turn yellow let me show you actually a couple that i picked this morning right before i started recording look at that we have a few right here so i'm going to pick all of these uh, and i'll add it to the collection and i'll show you right when we come back just how many we have so we'll be right back so as I'm gathering them, I'm noticing there's so many of them. I mean, just look at this. This one branch that I just cut off. Look how beautiful these ground cherry lanterns are. And this is definitely one of my favorite plants that I've grown this year. And I'm going to keep the progress of these going, even though the plant is technically being chopped down right now. The progress will continue through the ground cherry fruits so we're going to be making hopefully some recipes and i'm going to be saving seeds making those available for everybody and if anybody's interested in growing this plant post me a message down below i'll keep i'll keep that in mind and as soon as the seeds are available and i'll i'll let you know how you could get those so let's just quickly before we go take a quick look at the root system and I'm going to finish chopping this plant down and I'll show you, like I said, all of the ground cherries that are left. So look at that. 
it looks like the root system is starting to turn a little bit brown maybe some of the lights penetrated through the system I gotta see if there's any holes anywhere but overall the root system looks really big it actually was pretty quite dry when I came home so I just simply filled it with just plain water just to keep it from completely wilting away and we'll be right back once I gather all of these and finish cutting all these branches down being that I need two hands so we'll be right back so as I'm cutting this down I'm noticing on the backs of these leaves these spider mites have started to take over again and that's not a good sign man there's a lot of ground cherries together look at this thing just chopping this one branch chopping it keep collecting and picking these so don't be scared about picking them while they're unripened they'll continue to ripen indoors so as i'm picking them things are falling ground cherries are gathering it's going to be a tasty harvest look at these spider mites all over the place unbelievable look at this you can see them up close and if I simply come in go like that you could smush them and that'll kill them also nice easy way so you come in grab the entire leaf and give it a firm squeeze you want to use gloves when you're doing this I'm gonna wash my hands afterwards and they should be right there Look, on the back of my finger you could see a couple of them are smushed my mom was done cutting everything down got a whole bunch of branches over here and yeah, look at that Just a few more to go this was the biggest branch on the plant look at that unbelievable unbelievable how big this thing gets so if you're interested in growing this i hope you have the space and these are definitely delicious delicious little ground cherries look at my fingers i've killed so many of these spider mites just by simply harvesting these plants and grabbing these leaves disgusting and here's an up close shot of what the stem looks like look how thick this thing is it can't even bend it i could barely get my nail into it let alone break a branch like that so very difficult very strong plant very hardy extremely resistant to the heat and cold it seems like it does very well in both i've kept the window actually open this entire time it's been in the 40s up to well actually in the 50s really low 50s up to high 80s so this plant is very resilient to temperature it could do hot and cold it seems to enjoy quite well and we have another ground cherry being grown on the outside of the lantern that's the first this one's actually grown together we got a pair of that group and as one looks like and there was one that looked like it was almost ripe I'll show you what it looks like look at that so it's looking a little bit nice and yellow and let me actually rip let's just rip one open let's show what it looks like compare the color nice and a little bit green and a tad bit more yellow this is still unripened the being that you can see on the bottom it's still nice and green i'm going to show you what a ripe ground cherry looks like and we'll be trying one out also but super super good smell and a really sweet taste i really enjoy these okay and there we have it these are the ground cherries that i gathered just look at how many there are amazing and look up Back up. Oh, I missed one. Let's grab that off. And you can see the, the stems where I cut them, nice and thick. Lift that up. Take a nice look at the root system. I've shown this root system many times. And for those of you that are wondering if you could refill 
a Kratky system or a deep water culture system, like this plant has been half of its life, you definitely, definitely can. Once the roots, the, the nutrients dry out, come in, refill it to the same level, leave about an inch or so for the air roots. For example, approximately, I would refill it up to here. This way, this right here, and everything above is continu continues to be air roots. And everything below will absorb the nutrients and take everything up as it needs. So overall, you can see the root system looks nice and healthy. There's no signs of algae growth anywhere. They turned a little bit brown, which is normal. This plant is very has been alive for quite a bit. I think it's been growing since... I gotta actually double check, but I think it's been going for a few months now. So let's come down below. Look at all the ones that I gathered. Here's the pretty much what the plant used to be. So as you see, it's uh, quite large. I didn't even bother picking these little ones because when you rip it open, you see there's pretty much nothing in there. It's very, very small, immature fruit. So, see, really tiny, pretty much nothing in there. And these ones over here will continue to ripen up, like I mentioned. These are the ones, actually, that I gathered earlier, the ones that fell off on their own. And you could see already just the color difference. These husks have begun to turn nice and light and they're getting very dry and crinkly you can see what it looks like as it's starting to ripen up let's see if we can find a ripe one here this one looks pretty good actually oh no it's still kind of green let's see if we can open that one up and give it a try so they're all kind of still Tiny bit yellow, not as much gold as I want to be on it, so I'm going to keep it going. And we'll be back probably in about a week or so, or two, once these fully ripen up. And we could give it a try. This one doesn't look too bad, actually. It's a nice gold, nice yellow color. Still a tiny bit small little green on it, but let's give it a try. Not bad. Still pretty sweet. If you let it continue to ripen up, it'll get even sweeter. You see all of these tiny little seeds. These are the, the ground cherry seeds that you could plant. So you see they're very small. And just in one ground cherry, there's maybe about like 20 to 40 seeds, something like that. So a pretty good amount. So even if you just grow this outside, it's probably going to self-plant itself. When you when it falls down to the ground, if you miss one, just leave it there. It will continue breaking down and these seeds will grow. This plant does very well and seems to be indoors and out for me. So look at that, these were the seeds. Nice and small. And hopefully you guys liked the episode. Sorry, it's nice and long, but hopefully you liked the episode. If you do, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and we'll be back soon for more. Excuse for all the mess, but we're gonna be starting over and Next time you see over here, we're going to have a nice, beautiful herbal garden as well as a nice lettuces, strawberries, a whole lot of things. So we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Oh man, I got to get a bigger bowl. This is not going to support this at all. <laughs> we'll be back soon. That looks better. Was this a uh, was this a good grow? Did you guys like these episodes? 
post the messages down below let me know and i'll keep the progress going we'll keep videos coming and we'll be back for more thanks for watching